there and welcome to my YouTube channel, Julia McNeil Crafts. So today I am going to make a mixed media tag similar to this one. Um, I have some various goodies um, ready. Um, they, they, this is an old tag. Uh, you might have seen that I am desperately trying to use up old stash and stash that I don't really like anymore. And this is part of it. This is a topper that I will never use. Um, in, in its traditional format. So what I did think was, I've done this, used a similar tag on this one, is that it would create interesting texture as part of a mixed media project and actually it that turned out quite good. So um, I think I will be using more of my tags like that. Um, so I'm quite excited that I've thought of that um, so I can get a bit more you don't feel so guilty <laughs> having all this stash that you don't like anymore um, but still feel you should use. So at least I found another another use for it. And I am currently putting on some um, die cuts. These are from Polka Doodles. I'm just trying to see where I've got the packaging. Um, it's from the recent... It's from the recent... Um, die collection that Nikki brought out um, just at the end of just last year. I will I will find it before because I'm going to have to do um, a couple of edits on this anyway because there will be drying times etc to consider so um, I will get the I will get the um, exact details. I should have done that before. I'm not very organised. It's because I'm actually at the same time as I'm doing this trying to pack <laughs> for going away for the week. Um, but I'm thinking I need to make a couple of videos just so that there's something. <laughs> there's not going to be a lot, but just so that there's something going on my channel. It doesn't look like I've abandoned it. So yeah, I've popped some snowflakes on there because I have been inspired to make this based on the theme Torval and Dean's Bolero. Um, mostly because Dancing on Ice is starting again. And... Um, it's one of the only sort of reality contest shows I watch now. I used to watch quite a lot of them, but I've given up on the likes of X Factor and Strictly and stuff like that. I kind of lost interest. Um, but I just love Torval and Dean. <laughs> um, and so I was so delighted when Dancing and I returned last year. Um, I remember going to see them as a teenager. It was just after their comeback to the Olympics. Um, and then they went on tour. And as a teenager we went to see them and seeing them doing the label right in front of me. I could barely breathe <laughs> with excitement. So yeah, I thought, oh, that makes an interesting theme to do for a tag. Kind of got myself all inspired. So that is what I'm going for. So hence the snowflakes. And then I'm just putting a bit of masking tape on as well because I'm thinking that that would look like sort of, you know, cracked ice. That's what I'm thinking anyway. That's what's in my head. So I'm just going to move this to the side. So now I am just going to cover this with gesso. I used some of the Dina Weekly um, Ultra Thick Medium Gel just to stick that on. And now I am going to give this a coat of gesso. And leave it to dry. So I'm just giving that a wee of gesso and actually this has worked out a great way of using it so if you're the same as me <laughs> we all start somewhere when it comes to crafting um, and a lot of these kits with toppers and things they were a great place to start because you know before we've learned all the techniques they're pretty um, part of it's done for you uh, and it's a quick and easy card for me I just moved on from quick and easy cards I kind of like to feel it's it's all my input, but that's just me personally. Um, but I still have all this stuff, and it's it's good quality card. Um, and I did find with with the other tag that I did, it, there was that kind of subtle bit of texture that did come through, did add to that mixed media feel. So I'm quite pleased that um, even some of the stuff that I've gone off design wise as well now, um, as well as product wise, that I'm thinking well. There will be now lots of mixed media tags coming. But I don't have a tag die. I've actually run out of tags. So it's it's a win-win situation for me now. So 
That is that all gessoed and primed. I will need to stop the camera now and come back when it's dried so that we can start adding the colour. Okay, so I've let that gesso dry off and I have some Radiant Rain Shimmering Mist in Periwinkle and Snapdragon. These are ages old. I don't even know if you can get these anymore. So I've given them a really good shake to try and get the mica moving in them. But any mica spray or powder or Twinkling H2O, or I think this is the, the same family as the same brand as the Twinkling H2Os. Um, and for some reason it doesn't come as a spray. So I am just going to dab it on. It's funny, when I first decided to do a, a, a ice dancing themed one, I was going to do, um, I kind of had in my head like a sort of blue and pink for the male and female skating. And then all of a sudden I was like, oh, bolero colours, I have to do bolero colours. So that is why I have gone for these sort of purpley colours to try and um, mimic, mimic that. So I'm also, I've got a bit of pearlised white um, which I will be adding on in a minute because their outfits were sort of ombre looking. So I'm going to try and get the edges of those snowflakes as well. So yeah, I'm just dabbing this, dabbing this on. I would have, you know, actually in this instance preferred to have had a spray, but I don't. So make I'll make use with what I have. I think that's always a good motto, just doesn't matter what products we can have, we can make something beautiful. And that should be the, the moral. Oh, I need to top up my, uh, top up my water bottle. Okay, I am so disorganised, it's shocking. I was looking for my, uh, no, this is going a lot paler than it did last time I was doing it, so I'm going to add, I think I prefer this colour, I'm going to add a bit more of this, I think I maybe just added a bit too much water, or maybe the gesso slightly thicker, I'm not quite sure what's going on, but the colour doesn't seem quite so rich as the last tag I did, so I'm just going to add a little bit more colour, like so, okay. And then what I do have is this. Now I've discovered the spray of this bottle isn't working particularly well, which is most annoying. So in the last tag I just ended up pouring it on. Um, but this is a nice sort of pearlised um, mica powder. So it just kind of gave that added, added sheen. And I like the way it sort of mixed everything together. So the middle's not turned out quite right, but to be honest I'm going to be covering the middle anyway. So I think I'm going to leave that to dry and see how it looks once it's dry and then I'll come back and we can decorate the fun part. Okay. Okay, so I've let that dry off. It's turned out darker than the other one, but I love the sheen that's happening there. So that's quite good. So now I'm going to just do a tiny bit of dry gesso, not a huge amount because um, a lot of this will be covered and also I will most likely be putting a bit of gilding wax over some of it but just to kind of highlight some of the textures yeah, I'm just going to give it a little bit of a dry brush also like the puddling of the the mica behind that snowflake's lovely so I don't want to dump, uh, dull that down too much but I just want to try and bring out a bit of the texture of this masking tape because that's like our, our faux ice. <laughs> okay, so I got some vellum. Now what I was thinking with this is, as I said, um, originally when I had the idea in my mind to do a, a Dancing on Ice themed um, tag. I just thought, oh, you know, it's sort of boy and girl skates, and then it suddenly hit me that I should do the Lego. <laughs> so hence the purple. So with, I'm trying not to hide too much of the texture here. With the veil in here, what I'm trying to create is 
the flow of their outfits. They have these really loose sort of chiffony outfits. Um, and so I'm trying to I'm trying oh my words, where are my words? Um that's what I'm trying to capture with this um is that sort of fluid fluidity of the chiffon of their um outfits on oh, um, Bolero. So I'm just going to so that's why I've got the torn edges and the, the vellum and I'm just going to stick this down. I'm not worried about how I'm sticking it down because there's going to be that many sort of embellishments and things over this that it's not actually really going to matter. Now this piece has turned out a lot more textured than <laughs> my last one so I'm struggling a little bit to get this down but that's okay. We will manage. Okay. Just going to stick that down now. Now I'm trying not to go too close um, to the edges when I glue down so that I can tuck things behind behind the rips. That's just a little bit too thick. It's taking up too much of the tack. There we go. Okay. So I'm hoping that that kind of looks like the layered the layered chiffon <laughs> that they had going on. With their outfit. So I'll just neaten that up at the sides there. It's a mistake of my fingers, they are so purple, it's ridiculous. I've actually washed them loads <laughs> in between as well, and it's not made a difference. So I've also got a little bit of a, a doily. So I'm just going to have some of that poking, poking through. And now I'm just building up my layers. So today, and um, once I've got this idea in my head, I'd actually recorded, I think it was ITV, um, the Torvalindin drama that was on over the holidays. So I've literally just watched that today. So uh, all the inspiration <laughs> is there, having having it all just sort of fresh in my mind. It's it's all there. <laughs> so I've reminded myself of what this outfit looked looked like. And just how amazing they were. Okay, then um, I've got some gold thread because on their outfits they had um, Jane had this kind of gold cord that went round the back of her her outfit. Sorry, I'm stalling because I can't see what I've done with my double sided tape. But I've got a bit of sailor tape here, so that'll do. Um, yeah, she had this sort of gold gold rope that went round her waist on the dress. So that is what I'm going to try and recreate now with a little bit of gold thread. So I'm just going to wrap that round the card and sort of crisscross it, crisscross it over in various places so that it kind of looks a little bit like at the cord that she had on her outfit. So I'm putting quite a lot on because I'm going to be putting more embellishments as well on top. So by the time that's been covered up with flowers and things, um, it would get a little bit lost, which is why I've put loads, loads on. Okay. Now what I'd normally do with these tags once I've completed them is I would kind of cover the back with another bit of paper or something just to neaten it up if you want to give it to somebody. Okay, then I've also got some little bits of lace. So I will try and pop some of that in. So now I'm just sort of winging it and thankfully I've got a bit of an idea because having just done the, the one I've already made, but it's already looking so different. That's the thing with mixed media, you can't ever make two things exactly the same because your mediums will react differently each time and just lots of lots of different factors um, will make it slightly different. But that's what makes it exciting. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think I'll do that. No. no, I'm losing the flowiness of the the torn vellum, so I think I'll maybe 
I'll maybe leave that. Okay. So I'll see if I can arrange make some sort of arrangement. So similar, I've got similar flowers to what the one I had on my original. Um, so we can just have a little a little play. See what's aesthetically pleasing. Okay. I've got I don't have the same big purple flower that I had before, so I've got a few other different ones that we can maybe have a little play with and see how they go. I've got a, a veil bolero <laughs> in my head. <laughs> so, doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm trying my hardest not to hum it while I'm on camera, just, <laughs> just in case I break some sort of uh, copyright something or other. Also have my little skates. So the two dies that I've used, I said I'd find them. Is um, that was the snowflake die. So that's from Polka Doodles Craft Die Fancy Snowflakes, and then my ice skates are also Polka Doodles die, um, just called ice skates. Um, and what I've done is they have these little dotted details there, so I've pierced that through and st stitched that, um, and then I'm probably going to put a bit of gilding wax as well. So I think I'm actually going to stick the skates down and kind of work around those. I kind of did it the opposite way, but I kind of want to make sure that I have room for the, the skates. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is get a big blob of pin flare glue. So it's kind of the easiest way to do it because you can kind of it's going to stay wet for a while it's not going to dry anytime soon um, but it just allows you to get a bit of adhesion and you can start playing playing a little bit with your embellishments get them get them stuck stuck down and you can kind of still if you want to lift them slightly and tuck things underneath and things like that so I quite like doing it like that the only thing is you can end up with your fingers covered in glue um, and if you don't want your glue to be spreading to other parts of the project, you need to keep an eye on that. Okay, so these little berry things, they are from, is it Anne, Anne, Anne Marie? Not Anne Marie. Oh, my brains, I know it's like Anne or Annie or something like that. And I've met her before as well, I met her at a... <laughs> craft fair. Um, so it's annoying me that I can't think of her name right this second. But yeah, these are from her and uh, she has the most lovely embellishments. So I can always link to her to her shop at the bottom and obviously I'll link to the to the dies and even bits and bobs that I've used. Okay. just realised on the last one I had bits of a snowflake poking out. Um, I don't know that I cut myself a spare, a spare snowflake. I might just go and do that in a second. Sorry, losing patter. I'd have loads of loads to talk about because I was all um, psyched from <laughs> from from watching the um, documentary and I was thinking, oh, I'll have loads of information all about Torval and Dean and the Olympics and their journey that I can waffle on about as I'm crafting, but crafting's taken over and uh, I'm doing my thinking silent thing. <laughs> so it's not going quite to plan. So I've got a little sort of ribbon bow that came in an embellishment pack that also came from from Polka Doodles um, under the Stamping Unicorn range. And so I've just delved into that, that stash there. Okay. 
like the way it's come together. Now, I, as I said, I did have a, a snowflake, but I think I forgot to cut a spare one for this. So I'm just going to go off camera now, just a second, to do that. Cut another, cut another snowflake, um, and then I can um, so layer up a bit more. So I'll be back in just a second. Okay, so I've got my little snowflake now. I'm just going to chop it into these little spokes and then I can just add, add them, them in. Oops. Sorry about that in a second. While I was there I just added a tiny bit of lace up there off camera and a tiny bit down there. Um, not sure why, just thought it would, <laughs> just thought it sort of finished off the, how this little floral display thing is working. So I added that those little details in. Okay. Yep. Uh, I think I'll put that one there. Okay. It's getting there. Right, so what I did on the last one is I used some Frantage. Mm. It's going to be a little bit more difficult because I've already put the skates on because I forgot about <laughs> I forgot about a couple of these skates. But you know, we'll manage. So what I did, because technically you should kind of heat heat this from the back, um, and it's just not going to go through all of those layers. Um, but I also still need it to stick, because if you just put some of this stuff down and then heat it from the top, it blows all over the place. So I'm just putting a bit of Versamark down so that we've got something to of stick to. So I've got a little bit of the aged rose embossing enamel. Oops. And so I'm just going to sprinkle little bits of, of that going up the going up the tag. So it's always good to have a fair amount of the embossing powder because that's what's going to hold all the extra little details that we're going to pop in. So um, I also wanted to add, I think it was, um, the champagne glass glitter. Again, that's the gold. Normally I don't have gold and silver, but I just don't know. For ice skating it seems to work. You've got the silver of the ice and then, as I said, the gold of um, the fact that there was gold details on their outfit. So I've got some of that. And then I also used some, let me see which ones were they, um, these ones here, that's why my little labels are coming out, the pearlized mica um, fragments. So I put some of these on with it, but I also found that um, some of them I just stuck on with glue after, because they haven't really stuck. But we'll see how we go this time. So I've got my heat gun. I'm going to have to raise this slightly because I'm not on a heat protective mat and I don't want to ruin it so I'm just, because I've got this Ranger heat gun is pretty good, um, I have another one but it's quite fast paced um, so that would definitely just blow, <laughs> blow your embossing powder everywhere but because this is a bit more gentle it works okay so I'm just trying to see if you can, can see that, it's gradually gradually just melting the, the bits of embossing powder and then as those embossing powder as that's melting oh, various elements are adhering so I'm still getting a little bit of things blowing away it's hard to do this at an angle that you can see the yeah is that seen that there but the embossing powder is changing now Again, that's just another texture that we can we can add. It's the thing with mixed media, it's just about building up all the textures and layers. And I think that's I think that's us. I'll just tap off anything that's not adhered. So now we've got that sort of glittery element going on. Okay. I'm thinking this. What it needs. Does it need? It needs something because 
it's a bit squished, I just feel like it needs a little something there, but I don't know if that, that is the answer. I'll get a little leaf. Oh, sorry, I just bashed the microphone there, so I'm hoping that hasn't caused some great big pop as you're watching. I'd made something similar that it would be less less faffing on my part, but clearly not. Okay, so I'm gonna pop that, that in and then add this little leaf here as well. Okay, get in there. And then I have got some wax paste. This is the pen tart metallic, it's the silver one. This stuff smells amazing. It's got like a orange um, what do you call it? Well, it's got an orange scent, but I'm trying to think. Oil. Orange oil in it. Um, but I'm just going to pop that round. It was really going to bring out the texture of the, those snowflakes. And just add a little bit of a luxurious feel with the, with the silver. I'm just kind of going to edge the, edge the tag. Now, I've made it slightly more difficult for myself with the fact that I've already put the... Um, Skates on. I'm just caught the skates there, never mind. In fact, I have the skates gilded. Let's see if I'm on the last one, see if I can manage to do it whilst they're <laughs> on there. How to make it as difficult as you possibly can. <laughs> I would suggest if you're doing this that you gild the blade of the skates before you adhere it to your project. Are getting there. Okay, a bit more, a bit more round about. Okay. So now I just need some inspiring wording on my last tag. I put "happy together" and "shine brightly" because I thought that was a very good apt description of uh, Torvaldi. So again, I mean, I was originally thinking I could just put dancing on ice, but then I thought I wasn't sure how usable the tank would be for other things. Um, oh, I have cleverly just managed to put gilding wax all over these sentiments. So um, let me see. Do, 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 do. I think I will do one of a kind because that is what they are. Their feat of the perfect score in ice dance has never been repeated. So that is definitely one of a kind. So I'm going to put that as a sentiment. It's not sticking particularly well. And I have golden wax fingers, so I've now given it a nice sort of silver sheen. <laughs> Slightly unintended, but we can live with that. Okay. And finally, 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 um, I have got various ribbons. And my crocodile, which I put beside me. Do, 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 do. Here it is. Sorry. I think I think uh, in the video that I did with my daughter, um, she was she says that she says oh do 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 that's what mummy says when she's thinking and it's absolutely right. I find myself watching the videos back and I seem to do it all the time. I'm doing this by eye, roughly uh, roughly getting the middle. I have various types of ribbons, so I've got like a dark purple and a grey and a, a white zigzag ribbon. I think in the original I had a chiffon as well, but just the, just the three for this one. to be more more visible. So 
I'm just going to rearrange those a little bit. Okay. And there we have, have it. So I'll try and <laughs> clear my desk a little bit. <laughs> clear the devastation. So there we go. One mixed media tag using gorgeous polka doodles dies and inspired by the amazing Torval and Dean. So I hope you enjoyed those. I hope that if you're a Disney on Ice fan, like Disney on Ice, <laughs> Dancing on Ice fan, like myself, that you enjoy the series. And um, yeah, I'm doing really well because I've just felt all of that. But anyway, I'll just wrap it up now before I'm here all day. Thank you very much for watching and I'll be back again soon. Okay, take care then. Bye.